welcome to the class in this class uh, we will discuss uh, uh, bar graphs under the subject of uh, data interpretation we will discuss uh, this topic with the help of example that has been asked in IBPS common written examination of PO in 2011 as the name suggests bar graph in bar graphs data is shown with the help of vertical or sometimes horizontal bars so you can see these are the actually bars uh, there are three different bars that has been shown for different years starting from 2005 three different bars represent three different category that has been written here so let's first read the heading of this uh, bar graph because uh, the heading of any uh, graph indicate the kind of uh, data that has been mentioned in the graphs so this data is about number of students in thousands who opted for three different specializations during the given five year in a university so data is about number of students in thousands so starting from the year 2005 in the x-axis years are uh, drawn 2005 6 7 8 9 and on the y-axis number of students in thousands are drawn so specializations are Hindi English and mathematics which are shown with these three different type of bars so in case for the year 2005 number of Hindi students are 5,000 number of English students are 35,000 number of mathematics students are 15,000 so and according for accordingly uh, these figures are for 2006 and for 7 8 and 9 so once you have understood this uh, bar graph you can go ahead with the examples the first let's take the first example that is the question number 46 question number 46 okay 46 question reads as out of the total number of students who opted for the given three subject in the year 2009 38% were girls how many boys opted for mathematics in the same year so this shows that in the year 2009 out of the total students that mean in this figure out of the total students that means students from hindi english and mathematics 38 percent were girls that means 100 minus 38 that is 62 62 percent are boys out of the total so we have to calculate how many boys opted for mathematics in the same year but if you look at this uh, sentence then out of the total number of students so in total that means Hindi English mathematics we know that in total 62 percent are boys but with this information we cannot say that the same thing applied with mathematics we cannot say that 62 percent from Hindi and 62 percent from English and 62 percent from mathematics we cannot say that 62 percent boys are individually in either of the subjects this is this this uh, information gives about the total number of percentage of students of uh, 2009 but here asked how many boys are opted for mathematics so this data is insufficient to solve this question so that's why option 4 is correct it cannot be determined with the help of this data so for 46 option 4 is correct okay for question number 47 question number 47 okay let's read this question if the total number of students in the university in the year 2007 was 455030 so total number of students in the year 2007 was 
zero three zero. So then, then the total number of students who opted for the given three subject were approximately what percent of the total students? Okay. So student for so the student for three subjects we can add for the year 2007 because they are talking about uh, operate for the three subjects for what percent of the total students okay for for the year 2007 this Hindi is 15 in Hindi they are 15 and in English so for three subjects in 2007 in the that means 15,000 plus English that is from here we can say 10,000 and for mathematics again it is 15,000 so 15 okay total is that 15 plus 15 that is 30 plus 10 that is 40,000 students so uh, the question is if the total number of students in the university zones 2007 was this much the total number of students who opted for the given three years that is 40,000 were approximately what percent of the total students so the question is 40,000 is what percent of this much so the required percentage we all know that it can be get from 40,000 divided by the total that is 455030 multiplied by 100 now we uh, if you look at the options the options are 19 9 12 5 and 23 there is no none of these options we have to choose the option from uh, among these only and these options are not very closer so that's why uh, like it here it is written 455030 so we can actually approximate it to 455000 because 30 is a very small figure as compared to 455000 something so multiplied by 100 so this will go from 0 it will go here it will be uh, 4000 by 4000 by 455 again it will go from uh, 4 from 4 or from 5 5 nine ja, 45 5105 5, 0, 0. so it is 800 by 91 again we can approximate it to 1 because it will be less than 1% if we reduce it so it will be approximately it will be equal to 800 by 90 that is uh, 80 by 9 that is approximately 99 yeah? 81 so that is approximately 9 percent so with these approx approximations we have uh, got the value that is 9 percent so let's see which option is correct the option 2 is correct so this way we have solved this question okay let's go ahead with the next question that is the question number 48 question number 48 what is the total number of students who opted for Hindi and who opted for mathematics in the year 2006 2007 and 2009 together so that is a very simple question we have to add the number of students in the three in in the three year for two different sub subjects so we have to here get students in Hindi then students in maths for the year 2006 
2009. So number of students in Hindi in 2006. We have to see for this bar. Hindi that means this much Hindi 2006 that is 5000. 5000 Hindi in 2007. 2007 Hindi 15000. 15,000 and Hindi in 2009 this much that is 20,000 20,000 for maths 2006 for maths this bar this bar that is 35,000 35,000 for 2007 the maths this bar is 15,000 uh, same as uh, Hindi and for 2009 maths is 5,000 okay now we have written all the figures for Hindi and maths so simple question is total we have to total it because the question is what is the total number of students so total number of students in Hindi is 20,000 plus 15 plus 5 that is 40,000 and total number of students in maths is 35 plus 15 that is 50 plus 5 that is 55,000 very simple question simple addition this is 5 and 9 that is total number of students is 95,000 let's see which option is correct 97 93 85 96 and none of these so it is none none of these which is correct 48th question okay